So today I'm going to be carving a pumpkin based on a House of the Dragon series. So I picked up real pumpkins the other day. This is my first carving of my 2022 season. Now I have to admit, I consider this pumpkin to be a huge failure. I think it's important to show you my failures as well as some of my successes. Um, if you've seen any of my recent videos, you'll know that I've been practicing portraits on foam pumpkins. Now I'm going to take that practice and apply it to real pumpkins. So first of all, I'm going to print off a picture. I'm going to get that picture in the size I want, trim it down and stick it to some transfer paper. I'm then going to take that picture and stick it to the pumpkin. Now, if you've ever tried to do this, you'll know that taking a, a flat image and trying to put it onto a curved surface creates some issues. You're going to need to fold the image at the edges to fit the curvature of the pumpkin. Each image is different. For this one, I'm going to hide some of the folds in his hair. Instead of having one big fold, you're better off making lots of smaller folds all around the outside. That way then no one part is going to be too distorted. Once I'm happy and I've got the image stuck down, it's fairly flat. I'm going to just use a ballpoint pen and start to pick out the shapes in the design. Now I've looked at this in other videos and it's just a question of you know practicing those powers of observation with this is really examining the reference picture and picking out how the light is interacting with those having an understanding of Lambert's law of emission can be quite useful here which I looked into on this video which is really understanding how light uh, behaves based on the orientation of the surface to the light source so tools. I like to use uh, lino cutters and uh, wood carving chisels. I'll tend to um, skim over the design first of all with a lino cutter. Now if you use it, if you ever tried to use transfer paper before, you'll know that this stuff can rub off quite easily. So the first skim is really just getting the, the shapes onto my my pumpkin so they won't so if it does you know if the transfer paper does rub off it doesn't matter so much i've got a freight uh, you know a, a frame that i can work off to and shade to you'll notice here when i'm first starting i'm really keeping my hands i'm not really trying to touch the design whilst i'm doing that skim um and then once i start i'll, I'll start with some of the areas which uh, are the brightest first and I'll constantly be referring back to my reference picture. Um, I always have a, a picture um, printed off onto one side of me. So throughout carving this guy, I I kept getting the feeling of one of the bad guys from an old Go Ghostbusters film. Um, the name escapes me now. It's the guy in the picture. Um, I don't know. I just got that vibe from this one. And, it, you know, as I'm carving it, I'm getting less and less happy with this. You know, for, on the Damon one, uh, you know, there's lots of mistakes. His eyes are too close together and slightly... Um, gone slightly weird when I've done the carving also his jawline is out um, whether the, I've done the transition from the lighter to the darker areas I've made his jawline far too big um, you know it, it kind of resembles him but it's not what I was going for and when it comes to Renara Targaryen, um, it's exactly the same process. I'm just going to transfer the, the picture on with transfer paper and again skim over that and then just start shading it. I tend to work from you know bottom right upwards just because I'm right handed. So when I'm resting my hand on the pumpkin, if I work from that angle, it's again less likely to sort of rub off the reference. Renera, she's got a very unusual um, jowl section. You know, most people have a crease coming down from the corner of the nose to the corner of the mouth. Hers almost protrudes outwards, um, which makes it very difficult to sort of represent on a pumpkin. Also, the, the bridges of her eyes and eyelids stick out a little bit more than what I've carved. Um, once I'd done it, it was very difficult to sort of correct the, that mistake in particular. Um, you know, it, it just didn't look like her at all in this one. You know, I think the Damien one resembles him more, but again, I can't get this Ghostbusters guy out of my head. I think in hindsight, I probably should have chosen easier pumpkin for my first carve of the season. I wanted to put a drag 
dragon on the side of this. By the time I got to the dragon, I just want to put this pumpkin behind me. I've had enough of this one. I just want to chalk this one up to experience, get rid of it and move on to the next one. So I'm just very quickly gonna add a dragon on there. I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. I think I spent less than an hour on the dragon, if that, um, you know, and it's very basic. And if I'm honest, it ended up turning out more like a lizard than a dragon. I hope you found this video useful. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.